We met down in Lake Powell a long time ago and we were on a fraternity sorority trip from the U and I got down there late at night and there was a little tent and there was a bunch of girls giggling inside of it and so I started throwing rocks at the tent and then the next morning I woke up and all the, those girls were uh, standing above me pouring water on my face and uh, one of those girls happened to be Natalie. And the next morning he'd say that I dumped water on him but I don't remember that at all so and I think I have a better memory than he does so I think it was some other blonde that threw water on him. So so we met down there in Lake Powell and we became really good friends and, and that's just where this all started. Her first kiss. Um, <laughs> well the first kiss didn't come for several years later. We were really good friends for a long time and uh, she went on a mission. I wrote her the whole time and then she came home and things were a little bit different. Uh, we'd be hanging out and, and there was just like a different feel to our friendship and uh, one night we were a long time ago we were at my parents house and we were like in that stage of trying to figure out if we were going to be friends or more than friends and I would say I was giving him every sign to kiss me in the book and all of a sudden I was just like you know what I'm gonna kiss her and uh, I kissed her <laughs> and as soon as I kissed her, uh, she started kind of like pounding her forehead a little bit. I was like, oh, okay. And I freaked out after because I was afraid I was losing my best friend. And I'm sure my reaction to our first kiss wasn't the greatest, but... There's been a lot more kisses after that and all of them have been even better. Um, three things I admire most about him is he's extremely confident and extremely ambitious. He, anything he sets his mind to, he does and he knows that if he wants to accomplish something, he can do it and he does it. He's super ambitious and I really love that about him. One of the things I love about her is just how kind she is. She's the most kind-hearted person that I know. Um, she's friendly with, every, with everybody. She can talk to anybody. She's the, always the person at the party that anybody can talk to and, and she's always good about meeting new people and, and that friendship just uh, is something I really admire and that, that kindness that she has that she can just be friends with everybody. Um, another thing is he is, um, oh crap, I wrote these down. Um, oh shoot, we might have to start over. Um, Let's see, okay. He is um, extremely happy all the time. I can always count on him to be in a good mood, and which is good because I'm very moody and he's not, so we're, we're a good balance for each other. Um, he is always in a good mood. He's got such a calming influence on me and I can always count on Nate to be happy. So I love that about him. Another thing I really love about Natalie is uh, just her um, smile that she has on her face all the time. Um, she's always happy and she's always going to put me in a good mood. Um, she always jokes that she has a, she's funnier than I am, but I would disagree. I think she, I'm funnier than she is, but she always makes me laugh and always can make me smile when she needs to. Um, and lastly, what I love about Nate is he comes across like the super tough guy where he's like, I love sports and I'm super tough. And he is, but deep down he is a little softy and you get past that rough exterior and he's just like this little emotional, tender-hearted person that just loves and cares so much for people and everyone and that's a side that I love being able to see him. One of my favorite memories of Natalie is uh, actually back when we were friends. Uh, we were playing the guitar and we were down in Lake Powell and that's kind of one of the reason, one of the ways that we got to be such so close is she would ask me to play songs for her and I would learn them and then we'd sing and play and that's kind of how our friendship really started to blossom and that's really one of the things that I love doing with her as well. She's got a great voice, she's really talented and so I love being able to sing or play the guitar while she sings and we have a lot of fun nights like that together.
Um, there's a lot to choose from. We've been through a lot together over the last eight years. Um, but I would have to say my favorite memory of him was while I was on my mission. And so we were apart and it, I think it took him about three months to really miss me because he didn't write me at all for the first three months. And then after that, he wrote me every single week of my mission. And it was just in the little things that like he would print off letters and change the font of every paragraph and the color of every paragraph to make it look like a rainbow letter because he knows that those little things would make me happy. And that's when we really, things changed between us and I started falling in love with my best friend because I just saw a different side of him and we became, became really close through letters. So I would say that's my favorite memory of us. I'm really excited to marry Natalie because she's my best friend and she's the person that whenever I come home, I, she's the first person that I want to talk to. Uh, she's the person that I, whenever I'm stressed out, that I know if I'm with her, all of my stress leaves because my, my attention is just focused on her and my love for her. And, and so nothing else really bothers me when I know that I can see her and that I get to be with her. I am most excited just for like the little things. Being able to live together is a huge thing, I think, and just being able to, I'm excited for our garden. We just planted a garden. I'm excited to, just for like the little, coming home every day to each other from work and just being able to start our next chapter of our lives together. Just the little everyday things. I think that's what I'm most excited for. Natalie, you are my best friend. Uh, you've been my best friend for so long now. Uh, we've had our ups and downs, but I think that's really made us uh, develop the relationship that we have today, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, I love your smile, I love your kindness, and I love your heart, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Nate, I am so excited to marry you. Um, I know it's been an extremely long journey for us, and it's been a lot of ups and downs, but I'm so grateful for your patience with me. And I'm grateful that you stuck by me through all the ups and downs and the times when I just wasn't ready for this and that you were confident and ambitious with us and you fought for us and I'm so grateful for that because those are qualities that I know that will make an amazing husband and an amazing dad. And I'm so, so lucky and so excited to have you by me. You really make me a better person and I just feel me when I'm with you. So, let's, I love you and I'm so excited to marry you. <laughs>